everybody, this is the tutorial on how to use the low memory option for the computer for the <laughs> extension. A lot of teachers have small computers, uh, less than 8 gig of RAM, or even 8 gig of RAM is a little bit of a struggle to open up quite a few rooms at the same time. If you want to use the extension with uh, more than a few rooms, let's say 8 or 10 or more, probably you would need to have 16 gig of RAM. Now, that's not reality for a lot of teachers, so they experience some lagging and things like that. That's why I created a low memory option here. It's a checkbox and it allows you to run the extension, manage virtually an unlimited number of breakout rooms uh, using this option. The reason why it's able to do that is because only one window is opened at a time. And when you click through the slider, you'll just rotate through all your different breakout rooms. So you could still create, manage. I mean, I'll throw out a number like 100, 100 different breakout rooms. That's theoretically unlimited. The reason why is because you only display them one by one on your computer. So a Chromebook, which has, I believe, 4 gig of RAM, it can run and manage 100 breakout rooms. Just think about that for a second. <clears throat> See if that blows your mind. All right. Now, with any, just like with everything in life, unfortunately, uh, if you get something, you have to give up something in return. So what you give up in return is uh, the ability to do a broadcast into all the rooms. And the reason why I can't do a broadcast into all the rooms in the low memory option is because you're not simultaneously displaying all the rooms. So it's not possible to actually go into all those rooms. That's one thing you give up. <clears throat> Another thing you'll give up is the ability to record all the individual rooms. That could be a, a deal breaker for some teachers. Um, the third thing you'll give up is the ability to do this. Um, click on this one button and shut down all the breakout rooms. You could still click on one button in the low memory option. However, you'll have to do that room by room. So you, if you have 10 breakout rooms, you'll need to go through all 10. And then within each of those 10, you'd say remove from this room and so on and so on. <coughs> so that's the overview of this. Uh, you'll notice that the display will dynamically change based off of the setting in this checkbox. Now its default is off. I say uh, normally do not check this if your computer has more than 8 gig of RAM. 8 gig of RAM seems to be the threshold. Uh, if you've got 8, 8 gig of RAM, depends on your computer configuration, some other settings, if it can handle say 5 or 6 or 7, 8 breakout rooms. Uh, if you've got 12 or 16, I feel pretty confident you can run you know, 15 breakout rooms. I have 16 gig on my computers and it's not a problem. As a side note, I have been receiving emails quite a while now about some intermittent speaker button problems and there doesn't seem to be any sort of rhyme or reason to it. And it's very difficult to nail down exactly what the problem was. Um, I, I found that most of the people that experienced this problem had an external monitor and then I received an email the other day from a teacher who tipped me off to the idea that it's probably due to low RAM, the fact that the computer doesn't have enough memory to properly allocate resources to all the breakout rooms, so some things get dropped. And I think some of the things that, get, that don't get managed properly if you don't have enough memory uh, are speakers. And that's my theory based off of uh, the email I received from another teacher is actually his theory to begin with. And so I'm adopting that theory and I thanked him and I said, gosh, that's the only thing that I've heard so far that really resonates, makes sense. And so I'm going <clears> to <throat> track that down some more. I really appreciate all the feedback I get from teachers because I just can't do this without, uh, you know, hearing how this is working for you and things like that. I do read all your emails and I try my best to uh, you know, accommodate as many people as I can. All right, so enough on this. Let's go take a look at how this uh, works. Now, everybody knows how it works normally. If you open this up, how many do I have? Let me just add a few more uh, rooms to make it a bigger example. 
I'll say eight rooms. <clears throat> okay, so uh, maybe I'll just say I want to open up five. All right. In, in the normal mode, you can um, you know open up your main room first, and then you can also open up the uh, breakouts afterwards. And then if they're not laid out the way you want it, you'll just retile it. Um, so. I, just for reference purposes, let me open that just so we, we have the point of reference from the normal way that we can compare to the low memory way. Okay, uh, if you work with the extension at all, this looks very normal. Nothing changed. You know, you can turn on, turn on your video and just rotate on through and so on. Now, um, we know what this looks like. Let me shut these down and then I will open it up again. But this time, I will open it up in the low memory option method. Now, you'll notice that the interface will it, it will become dynamic the second I click on this things changed what changed so if I click the button you'll notice the breakout of the broadcast is removed because it's 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 not uh, functional in the low memory option because I don't simultaneously display all the rooms so that goes away and then this whole concept of you open up the main room and the breakouts that just merges down into one option or you just have one window and then the slider will just slide through in sequence your main room room one two three four and so on now of course it's a slider so you don't have to go in exact order you can jump around uh, so that's how this works now let me go ahead and run it <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right. One other thing that's different is I took away the audio visual controls from the control panel, and uh, now the only way to control the audio visual is directly on the meat itself. I did that mostly for a technical reason, but also for a semantic reason, <laughs> because I want people to realize that uh, you just have one window and you'll control everything from that one window in terms of you know audio visual and then the only thing left over here is is your slider so you can still slide around uh, so I'll just jump jump to room number three yep there you go so it's room number three and I can click room number four and so on. There's a little bit of a delay because as you move from one breakout room to the other, then you'll have you'll go out to Google and you know fetch and render that meat. So there's a little bit of a delay that way. I think it's an acceptable amount of time. So we can jump here. All right. Now to turn on your speakers. Uh, the speakers default on if you want to turn it off you can all right turn on you can turn on your microphone you can turn on your uh <clears throat> video and away you go so i think this is a, a really nice compromise for teachers that have a small computer uh you know unfortunately you have to give up something because you do have a small computer you don't have enough memory to run everything you would want to run but you can run the basics you can run the basics you can um, uh, run really as many breakouts as you want there's no limit you can say 20 or 30 or whatever and why does that work because you only display one at a time and that's very easy for a small computer to do because um, even though you have a hundred only one room is going to consume your computer's resources at a time as you go through all of them. All right, so 
everything works as normal. If I had some students here, let me go back to the main room. Uh, assigning students works the exact same way. Uh, let me just create a uh, sample student. Oh, sorry. I need to go to the incognito mode for uh, test student. So I'm going to create just one test student. It's enough to give you the idea. And this is John. Okay. Now John's going to request to enter. And away you go. Uh, so if I were to look down here in the assigned breakouts, oh, maybe I did it too fast. Hold on. What? Oh, sorry, I'm not synced up. This is a Google Meet with the nickname, so I'd have to make sure that I have this synced up, right? How do you know you're, if you're synced up or not? If it doesn't say main, then you're not synced up. So if you're on the main room and it doesn't say main, you're not synced up. So, oops. So I'm going to click right here. <laughs> All right, good. Now I'm synced up. Now I'm synced up. All right, so away we go. And there's John. Okay, and I can move John around however I want. However I want. Okay. Um, you may have noticed when I first opened this up, uh, the main room was synced. I'm not sure exactly why when I rotated around, it became unsynced. Let's see. But take, keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Take a look at that tab name there. Keep an eye on that. If the tab name is your tab name, then you're in sync. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go back to the main, see what happens. Okay, it is synced. Main is synced. All right, so... Uh, yeah, it should still work. I should still see John here. Yes, good. All right, so all your functionality on assigning breakouts will work exactly the same way, exactly the same way. You'll assign students to the breakouts. You'll click here to get your links, room links, and then your assignment links. Paste both of those in there. And then the students will look in their chat. They'll see their name and they'll look what group they're associated with. And they'll also see the address of the room that they're assigned to and they'll just click on it you know, really nothing could be simpler <clears throat> i did take away a couple of reports here because they, they these reports uh only work if you have all the rooms available and open at the same time there it's a status report for students and a status report for uh rooms uh not everybody's using those reports some people are but uh, that's one thing I'm not able to show in the uh, low memory option because I don't have all those rooms displayed at the same time. Now, if this explanation still is not that clear, I have a help link right here. So you can click on that. And I wrote quite a bit of uh, information here, which I hope is clear to you so you can you know, see the logic behind it. I explain how it works. I give you some caveats, and then I go through the process right here. One thing I do want to point out, and and is that some teachers uh, will want to have their main room open all the time, no matter what, and they the well they will also want to rotate through all the different breakouts. So. In that case, instead of one window, where do you go from the main room to, say, room one and two? See, I lost the main room when I did that. Okay. You, you can do this uh, little trick. I'm calling it a trick. It's a technique. Okay. So what you do is you're in the main room. You start everything up, and you say, I, I want to always have that main room open. Okay. Nothing could be easier. <laughs> All right, so just just follow <clears throat> follow these steps. So you just copy this. All right, open another tab, and then you paste it and hit enter. All right, now you will have both rooms. Uh, your main room will always be there. 
Now, when you click on your arrow, when you click on your arrow, then you'll rotate through the different breakouts. So you can do that. You can do that. And when you do this, uh, you do have the ability, obviously at this point, to record your main room all the time. You can do that even in the low memory option. You could go into this main room right here, down at the snowman, and you will uh, go through and, and record. I don't record, but it's, it's in here where you can record your room. Oh, there's a one. Yeah. So Google is updating all this right here. Okay. Um, I might be wrong that the record is in here. I'm pretty sure it is, but uh, it's standard Google functionality where you record it uh, and you'll present and so on. Okay. So that's it. Uh, you, Generally speaking, in the low memory mode, you only have one window open. However, you can make a copy of the main room, uh, create a brand new tab, paste it there, and then use the slider button to uh, slide through all the other breakouts. So that way you get a little bit of a best of both worlds. You have the main room that's static, it's always there, and then you've got the other tab which will be used to rotate through all your breakouts. Okay, um, and that little technique, that little trick is actually in here, right here under fifth. My little caveat here is this. If you really want to have a separate main room that always stays open, then you know just do what I did here. I'll explain it there. Okay, so uh, I really want to hear feedback from teachers who have small computers, particularly a Chromebook. I'm intrigued with the Chromebook. Uh, the Chromebook was designed so that you can you know, run and meet on it, uh, probably just a single window. I'm not sure if you could do this little trick with the static main room next door to it, but uh, uh, if you have a Chromebook and you want to try it with the extension, please do it and let me know if it works, uh, how, what your experience is. Uh, I'm feeling very optimistic about this because I want to democratize <laughs> uh, breakouts for everybody. Uh, you may notice that I don't charge any money for this extension. I do this for love. <laughs> yeah, Built with Love by Robert Hudak. So I, I wanna help everybody. I want this thing to work. And so if you can give me some feedback that it works, that would be great. Uh, one other thing, it's just a small request, but it, it, it does, um, have an, a, a big positive impact on me. It's, if you could do this, it would make me happy. Um, in the Chrome store, if you could go to this Chrome store, I'll, I'll, let me just call it up so you know what it is. Okay, so uh, Chrome store, Google Meet, um, breakout rooms. And that should call mine up. Yeah, that does. Okay. So if you could go here and give me a nice review, go to the review section, give me a nice review. Uh, you know, I've got some of these old reviews from a long time ago when I was updating things and so on. And I have some trolls in here, uh, you know, that just, you know, drive by with a single star. And I, and I had some real trolls that come in, came in and said, you know, nonsensical stuff uh, just to crash the ratings. So if you like the extension, uh, do me a favor. <laughs> so this is my small request for you. If you like the extension, um, you know, please give me a, a positive review. You could just do a one sentence, you know, hey, it's great. I love it. You know, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, I, I want it to be honest, though. So if you if you uh, if you honestly really do like it, uh, then and feel motivated, then please, you know, give me a nice review. Uh, that does help me motivate me. It gives me like a a pat on the back and add a boy and it encourages me to keep doing more work on this. So uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching.